Insights to the Spirit, a Bible study brief series from Shorter Community AME Church. This insight shares the subject, The Struggle Within. Here are Marva Bay, Adam Dempsey, and Karen Ivey. Romans chapter 7, verses 14 through 25. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I know not. For not what I would, that do I practice, but what I hate, that I do. But if what I would not, that I do, I consent unto the law, that it is good. So now... It is no more I that do it, but sin which dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For the will is present with me, but to do that which is good is not. For the good which I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I practice. But if what I would not, that I do. It is no more I that do it, but sin which dwelleth in me. I find in the law that to me who would do good, evil is present. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see a different law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity under the law of sin which is in my members. Wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me out of the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then I of myself with the mind indeed serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. In our text, Paul vividly describes the tension he feels within himself. Paul describes it as a war between the members of his body and the law of his mind is a fierce battle between two natures, a, a cage fight between the old and the new, between the carnal and spiritual, between the flesh and the spirit, between good and sin, between death and life. Paul, like many of us, is troubled by the fact that whenever he does good, evil is always lurking nearby. Paul wants to do the right thing, but he finds he cannot. He is perplexed to understand why he finally realizes that although in Christ Paul died to sin, sin in and of itself didn't die. See, the sin nature remains alive and active and attempts to draw us back into the life we thought we left for good. This conflict within, this eternal struggle, has caused some Christians to doubt their own salvation. Some of us are filled with doubt and shame because this battle within us has made us extremely aware of how far off we are from being the perfect person we hope to be. Yet, instead of despair, we, like Paul in verse 25, ought to shout for joy. For although we may feel like wretches because sin hasn't completely left our lives, the reality is God hasn't abandoned us. Now, saints, I want to give you a few thoughts to ponder which will help you deal with this struggle within. First, it's important for us to know in Christ Jesus there is no condemnation. See, Christ's atoning death on the cruel cross of Calvary has set us free from the shame and penalty of sin. So because of Jesus, we should no longer feel the sting of condemnation. Now this doesn't mean that God doesn't actively deal with sin in our lives. As the redeemed of God, God deals with the remnants of sin in our life by convicting us and not condemning us. Secondly, because of Jesus, we have the gift of the indwelling Holy Spirit. In other words, saints, we have God's Spirit abiding and living inside of us. This means we do not have to struggle in our own power. 
Saints, we are not in this fight alone. See, the Holy Spirit is continually testifying with our spirit and telling us that we belong to God and that we are God's children. Saints, don't you know God will never forsake his child? The Holy Spirit is also helping us in our weakness. Sometimes the struggle within is so great, it causes us to groan. But the Holy Spirit is our advocate and actively intercedes for us, even in our darkest moments. Saints, the Holy Spirit is also our power source. The Holy Spirit energizes us and enables us to fight the good fight. Too often we try to do things relying on our own strength. But needless to say, our strength isn't strong enough. But our true power source, the ever-living Holy Spirit, can never fade. Let us yield to the Holy Spirit that we may effectively deal with the struggle within. Saints, I want you to keep this in mind. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Like Paul, I am convinced that neither death or life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, neither any power or Neither height nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. The good work that God has begun in us, God himself will bring into completion. Let us pray. Holy and precious God, thank you for your Holy Spirit who dwells and lives inside of us. It is because of the Holy Spirit that we can face the hardships of this life. Yes, Lord, help us to yield to the Holy Spirit so that we may fight the good fight. In your Son's holy and precious name, this we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm in the struggle. Reverend Michael Gallant. To gain the full value of this online Bible study, go to shorteramechurch.org. Click the link, Insight to the Spirit, Study Materials, The Struggle Within. Experience uplifting, inspirational spiritual insights like this, Sundays at Denver's Shorter Community AME Church. Reverend Timothy E. Tyler, Pastor.